So we're talking yeah. here about the Energy Transition Fund. So it's got quite a specific title. Why this choice and what's the thesis behind it? Well, we think that there's a huge opportunity today uh, in order to transition the global energy system uh, from what is typically a fossil fuel based system to one where the energy mix is going to change profoundly over the next couple of years. So we're going to go from um, a mix of renewables of 19% today to as much as 60% in 2050. At the same time, we're going to have to address an increasing energy demand uh, in the world around us. So you've got two huge macroeconomic effects that really is going to boost um, the transition to a more renewable and sustainable energy system, which is one, the change in energy mix, yeah. and two, rising energy demand. And in order to um, uh, also uh, reduce the effects of climate change, what we need to do, of course, is to um, see if we can align ourselves with the Paris two degree targets. And what that means is that we need to go from um, a system today where we have 33 gigatons of CO2 emissions down to about 10, which is going to put in $29 trillion of net investment into the global energy system mm -hmm. across renewable energy, energy tech efficiency, storage as well. Ulrich, a very good day to you. It's Manus in Beijing. One of the themes that has come up on a number of panels that I've been on is, is the carbon capture and the neutralization of CO2 elements. Does that play in to your thinking? Are those going to be opportunities within the renewable space for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's hard to, um, within public markets, it's, it's, a, it's a harder space to invest in just from the, the fact that there's not a lot of publicly listed companies uh, in that space. The way that we tackle this is in, the, in, in, in sort of um, uh, tying it back to the $29 trillion opportunity is really focused on, mm. on three specific areas you know, that we broadly call the decarbonization, the decentralization and the digitalization of the energy system. And that those $29 trillion really go into renewable energy um, production and infrastructure, storage, efficiency uh, as well. So carbon capture is, is one way of dealing with a problem, but really we're investing in companies that are not just trying to, um, what should we say, neutralize carbon, but frankly, for the first time, uh, really be at the forefront at transitioning the global energy system. This is really a first. If you think about how energy transitions have happened in the past, yep. we've really only added energy fuels to the mix. We started out with wood, we then came to fossil fuels, etc. The energy density went up and up and up. Today, it's a very, very we're under special circumstances, which is one where we are really replacing existing fossil fuels mm. with renewable energy. Yeah, it's interesting because you commented before that it means you're not investing in retail financials or technology companies just because they have a low carbon footprint. And also what I found really interesting in your research is that you say fossil fuels are inflationary, renewables are deflationary. So this is one fund, the energy transition. You've also yep. got a long short fund, Ulrich. Um, and in this one, you buy stakes in companies favored by green investors, you short firms that are failing to make the shift to sustainability. Is it ethically problematic, though, to be profiting via shorting from firms that are damaging um, the planet? I think that, that's, a good, that's, a great, um, that's a great question. We thought that uh, the uh, uh, transitioning of, of not just the global energy system, but really investing in companies that are solving uh, uh, for global environmental challenges is a, a long-term thematic theme. On the other hand, we also feel in order to add a leg to the, the alpha, if you will, uh, is to be able to short companies that really are losing out to this transition, if you will, uh, with either stranded assets or inferior technologies. And hence, it's a way of really increasing an alpha. So one is a beta vehicle, which uh, is our long only energy transition fund. And one is one where we're trying to extract some alpha. Um, the short leg really is, uh, is one that uh, okay. We don't think we have an ethical problem with. It's one where uh, you're essentially increasing the cost of capital of companies that are not doing enough.